Hello there. Can you hear me? Is anybody there? And am I the right way up? <laughs> um, we are. I'm calling in today from uh, my house in Berkhamsted in England. Uh, it's uh, at the moment really gorgeous. Do you want to see the the view? Um, if I just pull this round, it's my car, and then there's. I live in the country. Well, kind of the country. It's it's. Um, the uh, it feels like the country because I'm at the end of a lane, and uh, all I have is fields around me, and I find it really beautiful. Uh, for um, uh, writing and hanging out and working and stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to come on quickly today because I just saw an email come in from my uh, publisher, and uh, they are they sent an email out to everyone. Uh, talking about uh, the new book, which is really exciting because it comes out next week. Here it is. Can you see that? It's really pretty. It's got like a little in, it flaps and stuff like that. And and they were talking in the book about, uh, sorry, they're talking in the email they sent out about the the financial freedom aspect of the book. So I thought I'd come on and uh, read a little extract from uh, the book, <coughs> and especially on on experiencing much more financial freedom in your life. It's not how you might think. Um, it's not the classical way of just having loads of money, uh, however it may include you having more money. Uh, but uh, I wanted to share a little bit of extracts from the book on, on that. Basically in, this, in the new book, I, it's the first time I've ever talked about all the different aspects of life. Um, I talk about health and re emotions and relationships and career and money, our relationship with time and also the wider world. And it's all about getting peace with life, peace with your finances, peace with your career, peace with uh, your relationships and within your relationships, uh, peace uh, with your body. And what I find is when someone does have that level of inner calm consistent, it does help them experience much more uh, uh, optimum health. Uh, it helps them to experience uh, a lot more uh, natural peace and connection and love and all the good stuff. And it also uh, helps us to be much more productive and effective in the work we do and uh, become more abundant. And also, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now that a lot of people are scared about, a little upset about, anxious about, uh, and uh, it's causing a lot of concern. And so what I want you to do is also talk about, you know, how do we get peace with the world and what's happening in the world? And so I talk about that too. But for today, I want you to share a little extract from the money chapter. Are you ready? Um, sit back, relax, and enjoy a few moments of calm as I talk you through, and I bumped the table, sorry about that, <laughs> uh, as I talk you through uh, this chapter. So, money, it starts. Uh, frustrated to free is the subtitle. And I share about how uh, money, uh, the root of all kinds of evil, or a route to enlightenment and personal freedom. With the right attitude and relationship with money, I believe it's the latter. If we define money in terms of physical currencies, such as banknotes, coins, and cash deposited, in bank accounts, there's about $80 trillion kicking around. It's quite a lot of money, $80 trillion kicking around. However, if we had non-physical currency, uh, non-physical money, like, like funds invested in pr financial products and stuff, it runs into the quadrillions. The quadrillions. That's 15 zeros. Now, that means that there's both uh, physical and non-physical money. In other words, money is both a non-physical and a physical entity. Um, the reason I raise this is that the nature of money is very relevant to how we relate to it. We all have an objective physical outer and a subjective non-physical inner experience of money. Or said slightly differently, we have the objective reality of how much money we physically possess and also the subjective inner experience of how it feels to have that much money. Can you see that? There's like an, an, a physical reality of money but there's also an inner experience of how, much, how it feels to have that much money. To comprehend the importance of the distinction, consider why you want money. Common answers include to buy things like property, cars, food, holidays, etc. And so you can feel safe, secure, happy and free. These responses clearly show that there is an objective financial desires like property or holidays and a subjective fiscal aspirations like uh, security and, financial and, and freedom. Unfortunately, growing up, it's common to accumulate a massive amount of conditioning that messes with our inner experience of and relationship with money. And that's like a really core part of this. This is like 
This is all about our, our having a really healthy inner relationship with life. And that includes having a healthy inner relationship uh, with money, because it's something that exists in our world. Collectively, we become to rely on money to define our sense of self and to feel safe, secure, valuable and free. Can you relate to that? Uh, that we, we want money for buying stuff, but we also want to feel safe, secure, valuable and free. This strategy will never work because if we seek these subjective, i.e. inner experiences from outside means, then they will forever be dependent upon fluctuating financial conditions. This dependency on money again creates conflict, so it therefore pays dividends to invest in improving our subjective inner relationship with money if we want our financial experience to improve. In short, millions of people have made money way too important and a rebalancing of power is needed to a return to a more sane and to serene coexistence with it. And then I have a quote by D. H. Lawrence that says, money is our madness, our vast collective madness. And so what I then talk about in this chapter is uh, I share, first of all, three principles uh, that can help you to heal your relationship with money um, based upon improving the inner experience of and your relationship with uh, money. These, these principles include uh, that you can feel secure without financial security, uh, you can feel uh, worthy without financial wealth, and you can feel free without financial freedom. I also share a recommended meditation technique in order to help you to um, improve your relationship with money. So we're, what we're doing here is we're improving our attitude, we're improving our relationship with money by healing our attitude around it. We've all picked up loads of stuff, whether that's from our family or from society, that doesn't necessarily cause us to have the most healthy relationship with uh, uh, money. And that messes with our ability to uh, make more and be more abundant. And so I share that meditation technique in there. Um, and uh, what else do I do? I also um, cover the most common uh, money issues. So how to use the CAM cure on uh, family finances, uh, on getting peace with past bad past decisions about money, uh, getting peace with the greedy bankers, uh, getting peace with the feeling that we're in rel relentless recessions, and uh, if you have a bad credit history, how to get peace with that. I talk about how to get peace with being in, potentially having been in debt for decades. Um, you know, a lot of people are waiting to be happy once they've uh, paid off their credit cards or or they finally paid off the mortgage or whatever, and that's an un subtle way of postponing our peace and happiness. Uh, bankruptcy anonymous to talk about, and how you know for some, you know, it can be a relief if you are made bankrupt because um, the people chasing you for money can't contact you anymore. But it can also feel like an inner, inner failure. Uh, we can feel less than somehow, and so it's really important to heal that if we don't want it to happen again. I also. Um, talk about retirement fund. A lot of people are really stressed about the retirement fund. Will I have, an, will I have enough? Uh, will I uh, run out before I check out kind of thing? And I also talk about getting peace with the 1% club and how that the that uh, half of the world's wealth is in the hands of only 1% of the population. 1% of the population are in charge of half, half of the world's wealth and 70% of the population have less than 10,000 US dollars. And so there's a major inequality there. And again, that can make people uh, frustrated and cause them to have conflict uh, around money. And uh, I give a simple top tip. Uh, this is really simple, but it's, it's just to ask yourself, so that you can be more mindful uh, when spending, ask yourself, you know, is this nice or necessary? And it's so simple. But just ask yourself, is it nice or necessary? Now, obviously, you're allowed to buy nice stuff, but it can help you be more mindful uh, as you do, because sometimes we're often buying things, not for the thing itself, but how we believe that thing will make us feel. And um, we don't actually have to buy feelings, but if we believe we do, then we can start buy overspending, buying stuff we don't actually need, uh, putting ourselves under financial pressure because we are trying to buy feelings uh, not actual the thing that we're actually buying. Does that make sense? So it's a common thing for people to go out and uh, spend, spend, spend uh, just as a hobby almost or something to do on a Saturday or whatever. Um, we kind of look for any, any excuse to buy a new outfit or whatever. But it's just asking yourself, is it nice or is it necessary? It can really help you to be more mindful uh, when, um, when going about your financial work. So I really recommend that you um, obviously uh, apply uh, these principles that you can feel uh, secure without financial security, you can feel worthy without, without financial wealth and you can feel free 
without financial freedom, uh, the old classical idea of financial freedom. Because if you do, and if you have this inner, uh, inner experience of inner security, inner worthiness, and inner freedom, it completely transforms your relationship uh, with money, and it also helps you to make more. Uh, if you don't feel worthy, you're not going to let it in. If you don't feel secure, you're, you're gonna, your, your, your desire to make money is going to come from fear as opposed to abundance, exploration, love and service. So if you are um, living in, uh, looking to try and get security from money, like I say, you're going to end up uh, attracting your intentions, which is not to be, not to run out, not to end up on the street, not whatever you're, the, is driving the fear you're going to attract more of that than the actual thing you want, which might be to, to make more money so you can uh, do things you actually want to do and get out of debt and provide for your family or provide for yourself or whatever. And so you want to make sure your intentions are congruent with your aspirations. And if your intentions are congruent with your aspirations, you can actually become a master manifester in your external world. And so this is what this whole chapter is about, helping to align our intentions with our uh, fiscal and financial aspirations. Now, as a wee bonus for listening in and watching this video, I'd like to give you a web link you can go to to listen to a, 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 a guided meditation, a free guided meditation. Um, every chapter of this book, uh, you'll see reading through it, there's a, a bit where you're directed to my website where you can access additional free resources to apply what I'm talking about uh, to your own life. Uh, so it really makes bridges bridges the gap between conceptually going that's a really cool concept to actually helping you to live it and experience it because that's what I want from you uh, from having done and, and got yourself a copy and read the book is you actually to be experiencing the benefits from it and so if you go to my website www.calmclan.com forward slash money uh, if you go to camclan.com forward slash money, no email address required. I'm not trying to capture your email address from this. I'm trying to help you with this. And if you want to obviously give me your email address at some point, feel free to. Um, but go to camclan.com forward slash money and you, you can get access to the free guided meditation to help you uh, apply what I've been talking about in this video. Help you to, like I say, feel secure without financial security. Feel worthy without financial wealth and feel free without financial freedom. So please do, um, if you've liked this video, uh, share it as much as you want. Um, tell your friends that there's a new book coming out that they might be interested in. Uh, and if you are in the London area, please do come along to my talk tomorrow, uh, Friday. Uh, it's at 3.30 to 5.15 at the Wellbeing Festival. And I'm gonna be talking about all about Calm Cure. Uh, it's a mini workshop on it. And if you go to Groupon, uh, you know the Groupon discount website and type in my name, San and Ubegin, uh, you'll find that you can get half price entry tickets that come with uh, tickets to my workshop. So you actually come to my workshop uh, for free if you t go to that Groupon link. So I'd love to see you there. Um, the more the merrier. Uh, tell your friends. So like I said, I wanted to come on today because my publishers have just sent an email out to everyone uh, and they happen to include an article on financial freedom and extracts from that chapter of the book on money. So I wanted to come on and uh, just celebrate that and share it. You know, it's so exciting to have a book coming out on Tuesday. And um, it's my 11th book and I'm very proud of it. I feel like it's really bringing together everything I've, I've, I've covered over the last two, uh, Mind Calm and Body Calm. And the feedback I've been getting so far is that it's it's the best one I've done. So I'm really, I'm really uh, proud of it. And uh, I really hope to inspire you to maybe grab yourself a copy. Um, I'll put a link in order to do that uh, if you want one, uh, you can get it at sanyubing.com forward slash pre-order cam cure. But in the meantime, you've got that free uh, meditation that you can do uh, at the camclan.com forward slash money. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed and benefited from this uh, little video. And I hope to do a few more of them uh, before the book comes out and also after. But if you want to pre-order it, you do get uh, some bonuses there's a competition and there's other things. So make sure you go to that web link that I gave you, uh, the sanyubing forward slash, sanyubing.com forward slash pre-order cam here and pop your receipt number onto that page and you can get uh, all the goodies. I'll send them out next Tuesday when the book officially is released. So thank you very much, guys. Lots of love to you. Have a wonderful day and uh, I will hope to speak to you soon. Until I do, I wish you infinite peace and limitless love. Bye for now, guys. Thank you.